Welcome to the homework for lesson 17. This is module 4 of grade 1. Get your name on here first before you forget it. And we can use either quick 10 drawings or number bonds to make true number sentences. And I, we still have to draw them. Maybe you can do these in your head or maybe you can't. But we still have to do the quick 10 drawings or write down the number bonds to show the true number sentences to how we got them. We just we have to show <clears throat> practice explaining our mental math. Don't skip it. 13 plus 20. Well, I'm going to draw this. I'm going to do quick tens for this. So 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, and two 20s. 33. 33. And for this one, I'll just do number bonds. And so I'm going to look at this as 20 and 3. And I'm just going to add this. So I'm going to add the 3 and the 6 first. Maybe your teacher wants you to write that down. 3 plus 6 equals 9. And then 20 plus 9 equals 29. And that really covers everything. 29. 10 plus 23. This is going to be really easy with quick tens, right? Because it's just 10 and 2 tens and 3 ones. As long as you don't have a lot of ones to write, to draw, quick tens can go pretty quickly. And so you're looking to just count the tens first. 30 and then 3 more. 33. 28 plus 6. Well, this one I'm going to be drawing a lot of ones. So I'm going to use um, this one. I'm going to use number bonds. So I'm thinking 20 and 8. I know that 8 plus 6 is 14. And then I can add the 14 to the 20 really easily because it's just two more 10s. 34. Twenty six plus seven. Here's one another one that has a lot of ones. So I'm going to use 20. I'm going to use number bond here. 20 and 6. And then if I add the 6 plus the 7, that's 13. And then add that to the 20, that's just two more 10s. Um, I'll take that 13 and add the 20. 33. And 20 plus 17, this could be really easy. That's a 10 and a 7. And I could do quick 10s for this one too, but 7, is, that's kind of a lot of ones to draw, so I'm just being lazy, I suppose. Um, add the 10s first. 20 plus 10 is 30, and then you'd add the 7 to the 30. 30 plus 7 is 37. And solve quick 10 drawings or number bonds. Same thing, just more of the same. I see 23 plus 9. That's a lot of ones to draw. So I'm going to think of that 23 as 20 and 3. I'm going to add the 3 and the 9 together. I know that's 12. And then add the 20 to that 12. It's just two more 10s for 32. And it might be that, you know, if you're not, if you practice writing down the, the equations like I did here, if you practice doing that in, in class when you're at school doing these uh, problem sets, then you should also do the same thing. You should write them down at homework. It just really it explains the steps that you did. 27 plus 7, the same thing again. That's a lot of ones to draw, so I'm just going to look at... 20 and 7. These two 7s, if you know your doubles, 14. 7s are a, a double that a lot of people don't get right away. So, And then I'm going to add the 20 to the 14. 34. 24 plus 10. Well, it's not very many ones. I'm going to draw quick 10s for this one. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's a 10. 
34. Uh, 20 plus 18, I'm going to see this 18 as a 10 and an 8. And then I would add the 20 and the 10 first. And then add the 8 to the 30, 30 plus 8. We use different methods depending on what the numbers are. Sometimes one method is easier than another depending on how many ones you have to draw in your picture or what you have to add. All right, 28 plus 9. Here I'm thinking of 20 and 8. And if you know 8 plus 9, this is really this will go really fast for you. If not, you can count it up or draw the or draw the quick tens and count. Um, I highly recommend drawing and counting. If you don't know, uh, if you if you don't know your your um, your facts right out right off your head, eight plus that's seventeen. And then I add the twenty of that seventeen plus twenty. That's just two more tens to the seventeen makes it thirty seven. And for this one, just for fans of drawing quick tens and counting because I've only haven't done very much of it I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for this one here 29 plus 9 so maybe you know 9 plus 9 you maybe you know that double is 18 and that can really and then you just add 20 to the 18 is gonna be 38 you can do that with number bonds if you'd like but just because I said I would 29 there's two tens one two three four five six seven eight nine and I need nine more because that's our second add in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this makes a ten. And this is eight more. So I have ten, twenty, thirty, eight, thirty eight. And now it asks, how did I solve problem 11 and why did I choose to solve it that way? So like I mentioned that once before, that uh, there are different reasons for picking different methods. And you can have your own reasons for whatever method you choose. Maybe you didn't use the um, number bonds. Maybe you did draw it because um, you like to draw and count. You could write that down. That's fine. So I'm going to say, I'm looking at this one, I'm going to say, I solved it, I used number bonds. I used a number bond. And why did I choose to solve it that way? Because, oh really I did it, I mean I, I could write that I, I, was, I felt lazy because I didn't want to draw all those ones, those eight ones, but I could also say um, because it's easy to add to tens, right, because that's what I had at the end was the, the 30 plus 8, so that was really easy to add. So you add tens and add ones to tens. Lots of right answers you can have for that. But uh, just to, if you can't figure out how to say it, just imagine you're trying to explain it to your teacher or somebody else and, uh, and write down whatever it was you were going to say out loud. Say it out loud first. That really helps you to figure out what words you're going to write. Then once you know what the words are, then you can write them down.